Okay, so how different is the San Jose State team from the one that you guys faced last year? They've had like a whole new coaching change. What kind of changes are you seeing? Mostly I see that they run the ball extremely well. You saw like last week against UNLV. They still have the good quarterback and fails and stuff, you know, but they see more balance this year than they were last year. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest change that I've noticed. So it's sort of like run, it's sort of like going up against it's something more similar to your offense than you guys have seen the last couple of weeks. Exactly, just more fifty fifty run pass type of team. Is that nice to be able to do that instead of have to worry about like last week it was the triple option, the week before it was spread? I would say it's really nice because, I mean, along with the scout looks you get all week in practice, we get to see a very balanced offense in our own offense mm -hmm. when we do some team stuff. So it adds to preparation for the game. Eric, can you compare their passing game to Fresno State and what you can maybe take away from that? Uh, well, honestly, I see them like – like passes scheme wise, Derek Carr, very good quarterback. I give him all the credit in the world. He passes the ball a lot. So does number ten. He passes the ball a lot, and I notice that they run a spread offense. So, like they even throw the ball on first and second down. So DBs, we always got to be on our toes. Okay, especially if he wasn't really pleased with the intensity that the defense showed last week, and talked about how. They tried to make some halftime adjustments, but it didn't work out. What, what were you guys asked to do after the half that just kind of didn't really click? Oh uh, well, I mean, since since they ran like they ran the the pistol triple option offense, which is very abnormal in college yeah. football, uh, that halftime adjustment because they ran a counter option and we didn't really like go over that in scouts during practice, mm -hmm. so we just pretty much just made adjustments to the counter option. Was, was it, did you guys have trouble executing that in the field after that? Uh, they, honestly, they just, it, w it, was, it wasn't that. They just ran a lot faster pace than what they did in scouts, so we just had to get adjusted to it through halftime. I mean, would you say that the defense came out a little flat last week, or I guess was there, was there any sort of like a hangover effect from the week before, you think? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say we came out flat. It was just kind of like, like some of the, some of the things that they did on offense was kind of like a foreign language to us because we didn't go over that in practice. So the coaches up in the um, in the press box, they they seen that, and then we just made adjustments at halftime so we could play a lot faster and get the W. Glenn, what do you think of the Ilya runs on Saturday? Just a little bit of do you feel like you did well? Anything you need to work on or something like that? Yeah, there's obviously things you have to work on every week. Um, uh, we made some good good plays on offense, and, and you know we still struggled in some areas. Um, but we did a really good job coming out in the second half and uh, executing, um, holding time of possession, and then finishing with touchdowns, which had been a problem for us earlier. Are you seeing anything different from uh, Ezel? The relationship you guys have been kind of getting over the last few games and going over 100 yards each time. There's something different that you're seeing from him at this point. Uh, nothing different. I think it's just uh, we're really starting to connect, and I, I feel more comfortable with all of our receivers. And um, you know, for for some reason, the teams that we play against are, are kind of leaving him out one on one a lot, um, and he's making plays every time I give him the ball. Anything else for the student athletes? I guess for Eric, uh, with the changes to the safeties, I mean, you guys have had kind of a different rotation. Have, have you noticed it affect you guys at all? Do you feel like you're, you're you feel okay with this group, you know, with Gabe Lemon out, and Marcus Andrews, and still want to? Uh, no, I mean, we, we're still confident in the DBs that we have. Like, when one person goes down, we have another person to step up, and we have pretty good underclassmen to come in, too. So, pretty much, I'm confident in our DBs and our safeties. We'll get the job done.